Playing together since second grade, they never dreamed they'd still be playing together in college. Like at first we thought it was weird having like two girls that played AAU together, played high school together, grew up together, been best friends together, and they come to the same school and they like, they figured it out. Well, it was kind of the same deal. My dad and my brother, he grew up playing, so I always wanted to kind of be like him, and so that's how me and my sister got into it. I started basketball when I was like in second grade, um, and honestly, I just tried every sport, and basketball is the one that stuck. We were pretty good. It was our park district team. Our dad's coached it. Hers is the head coach, and mine was the assistant coach. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I don't remember it too much, but I think we were pretty good. Our park district teams went undefeated a lot, so that was cool. Um, we got older, like middle school, those teams were undefeated too. We won the feeder championship two years in a row, which was pretty cool. That's like the high school, the team that feeds into the high school. And then we made it down state twice, lost in the state championship. Coming in, like every year coaches tell you like, you know, like these freshmen, like this freshman class is going to be really good. Like you guys are going to have to fight for playing time. Like you hear that every single year. But with Jackie and Ginny, it was like, oh, like these girls are really good, like almost one state, like have all these like accolades. SLU was heavily involved in the recruiting for the two girls. The recruiting process is really weird for basketball, but it ended up just being that like this was such a good academic school. I had the chance to play basketball, had my major, so it just really worked out nicely. It was kind of just like you get a bunch of phone calls, they come to your AAU tournaments, and uh, if you're like, they'll try to get you to come on a visit uh, until you. They changed the rule around, but you can't really, they can't pay for you to come down until later on. So we went and visited a bunch of schools. That's what you really do. And then kind of decide where you think you can see yourself. I visited twice on like the unofficial visits. And then once you commit, you'll visit once afterwards. So three times. They came to some high school games, a lot of high school games actually, and a lot of AAU games too. A SLU came with both of us in mind. Other schools, like we had like pretty much no other schools in common, like a couple, but really not any that we were both seriously thinking of going to. Even though they've been teammates for over 10 years, it was not always their intention to play together in college. They didn't come here for the other one, if that makes sense. They came here, like they both made their decisions separately, and it just found out that they both like really liked the school, really liked the coaching staff, and was like, you know what, this is where I want to be. We always knew we liked playing with each other, and if there was anyone that we could see ourselves actually spending another four years with, it was each other, but just kind of worked out that we both really enjoyed it here. It kind of just happened. We just decided that if like there was a school that we both loved and had everything we wanted, we'd both go there and it just worked out. Mm -hmm. A lot of things factored into it. The great academic institution, that was one of the big things I wanted. And then, I mean, I loved the coaching staff. I think uh, Lisa Stone, our coach, is going to really help us. And I think she's already really helped us uh, just become a better team. And I think in our next three years, like we're gonna be even better. She really is just like a motherly figure. I mean, she pushes on the, us on the court and she's really passionate about the game. And like, she's not gonna let you like slack off or anything, but she also, she, we know she's looking out for us and like she just wants us to be our best. The transition to college is hard for many high school graduates and it was no different for Jackie and Jenny. They ask a lot of questions. Questions that, like for me, being like a senior, I'm like, all right, it's a freshman question, I'll answer it. But it's like, it'll be like, what are we doing today for workouts? We're doing what we did last Monday for workouts. But how many are we doing? Why are we doing it? Jackie, stop. It's been challenging, a lot of adjusting, but I think it's been that much better because we're together. And we had someone to like kind of talk to about it. And I mean, it's been fun. I wish we did better this year, but we have three more years, so hopefully. It's hard. It's a hard adjustment. I think going to college for anyone's hard and then playing a sport is like more on top of it, but it's really rewarding, so I like it. It's just a lot more time. It's a really big time commitment, and then, I mean, the workouts, you're, we just haven't, our bodies aren't used to some of the stuff that we have to do, so that's pretty tough. But. The difference between high school basketball and college basketball, there's a huge difference. 
um, in like the competitiveness and just like how much extra work you have to do when it's not your season. It's pretty much a year-round thing. So, Chemistry between the girls has worked well for them both on and off the court. I think when you play with someone like a really long time, you like know where they're going to be in the court and like she knows where I'm going to be. So it's, it's just like natural and like relaxing to know that like you don't have to worry about it so much with other people you you're like oh are they gonna go here here or here but you, like I know where she is. I think the best part about playing with each other is just that we have played with each other for so long that we know where they're gonna be and we know that if I'm saying something to Jenny in a game it's more I feel like more me telling her stuff but uh, we don't get really mad at each other like we know that they just want us to be the best it's not there's no like jealousy or anything like it's all we care about each other and want our team to be successful. She's hard on me more than I'm hard on her. Um, but it's like no matter what we say to each other in a game or in a practice, when it's done, it's done. Mm -hmm. Everything's with a grain of salt, so you don't really think about it that way. They are each other's biggest fans. It's so funny because Jackie will get so excited for something Ginny does that's good and so pissed when Ginny does something bad. Like Jackie will like throw the ball and be like, shoot the ball, you're a shooter, that's what you do. Like shoot it, and then like Jack or Jenny will yell at Jackie and be like, "Well, you're a point guard. Why are you turning it over? You're not supposed to do that." The two girls are roommates, and they do what typical friends and roommates do. I enjoy rooming with Jenny. We get along really well. We have our little fights, like she said. We mostly I get upset with her because she's very messy, and I do not like that. I like when it's clean and orderly, and she just leaves her books and her backpack and everything all over the floor and it very much upsets me. But. We'll get in little stupid fights like about who didn't clean the bathroom or something like that and then it's like two minutes and we're like back to normal. So it's nothing ever, like we're never not gonna be friends. We do everything. We watch a ton of college basketball games together. That's one of our big things. We have our brackets on our walls for right. bragging rights. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean we eat a ton. We go like five times a day out to get food. Uh, I mean, anything you would do with your best friend, we do together. St. Louis University was an appealing choice for more than just basketball. I like the campus, not too big, so when you're sore, you don't have to walk far to class. Um, and I really like um, like the stuff around St. Louis, because we just, um, whenever our parents are here, we're always like exploring new places. So like, it's really cute little areas around it. I would say just that there's always something to do. I visited a lot of colleges that were like small towns, cornfields, and it's like, what am I going to do here? So I really liked that there were just so many options to go do whatever you wanted. Jackie and Jenny's relationship is more than just basketball, and the future for them is bright. I think the sky's the limit for the both of them.